All right. Done fooling around with the night crawler. Just wanted to see what would happen with it. I'm gonna do what I normally do now. Fish with the big rod, holding it. Wading out into this main pool, into the tailwaters behind a dam. With a three-way slip sinker rig out there. Just kind of catching on the bottom so the bait flutters on the uh, on the hook. And uh, this feels like a better cat. Should give him a little, little play. But I'm using raw chicken right now. Might use some cut bait. This feels like a pretty decent cat. Usually they average like 26 inches around here, like a really hard average. Like to get a 30 plus is a 1 in 40 or 1 in 50 fish. But you get a ton that are 26 or 27. This guy's fighting pretty good. It's probably at least average, I'd say. Sometimes a fight can be deceiving, though. They fight a little different. Sometimes. Yeah, looks like a pretty good cat. Nice channel. When they get closer, there's less, um, I have mono on this pole, so there's a lot less, uh, less stretch. So if they do a, a real hard tail swish, when they get close, that's when they're gonna break you. So that's why I'm playing with the drag. Oh yeah, this feels like a nice one. <laughs> Normally got him in by now. This guy's fighting pretty good. It looks kinda, well, it doesn't look huge, I don't know. Looks good sized. Yeah, it's a nice one, awesome above average. First cat of the night off the chicken rig. Not a monster, but a real beauty. Above average. She's 29 and 3 quarters and not very fat, so she's just 9 and a half pounds. Nice cat though. Oh, I'll let her go here. Awesome. I gave cut bait a good couple soaks, long soaks. Didn't get anything on it, so I moved back to the chicken. I usually do best at ch with chicken right in this pool right here. Usually just normal chicken breast, but tonight it's kind of rotten. It smells really sour. It works either way, rotten or not rotten. This guy's rolling around a lot. <laughs> Feels like another solid one. Did this last night and Got like 15, at least 15 of them, I'd say. And biggest one was 29 out of all those. And that's still a pretty good night. Normally don't get close to 30 on the second fish. Pretty uncommon. This one feels pretty decent too. Yeah, he's smaller, I think. Hard to see him right there. Yeah, another decent one I suppose. A little smaller probably. Another decent cat. He's 26 and a half inches and 6 pounds 12 ounces. He goes. <laughs> so I found this in his mouth. Circle hook with a steel leader attached. Broke someone off. This guy doesn't feel too big. Still waiting for a 20 pounder, man. They're all spawned out and skinny right now, but still would love to see a 40 incher. <laughs> Maybe someday. 
Gonna have to go through a lot of catfish to find one of those probably. It doesn't feel very heavy, but he is pretty feisty. I got him on the, the raw chicken again, the rotten chicken. I'm just going to keep using that for a while tonight because it's working great. Usually it does work the best here. The only thing I've ever had is one time I had cut bait, cut bait work as well, but it's a lot harder to get cut bait than, than, than uh, raw chicken around here. I would say, because of the bait fish laws and the lack of tackle shops and lack of cut bait in grocery stores, at least as far as I understand it. There he is. Oh, coming in the back way. Shoot, awkward. <laughs> He's a decent one, for sure. In the net there, they're awesome. He went right in for me. <laughs> getting into less cats tonight but better ones this one's 28 three quarters and uh, 9.8 pounds a little bit heavier than that one just under 30 way fatter that's why look at the gut on them some massive gut like has eggs or something but I don't think so so I'll put this guy back Awesome. I'm getting faster hookups now. Reel's getting a little sticky. I don't know why these bolts is loose. <laughs> Whatever. Just an auction reel and rod combo I got for like 20 bucks. Or someone got it for me. Just cheap, heavy stuff. So, funny thing about fishing though, man. You know, last night I got. I said this already, I guess, I somewhere around 15, 20 cats, same exact thing I was doing. Nothing different than what I'm doing right now. And biggest, heaviest one last night was like 8 pounds, I think. And I got 4 so far tonight, and 2 of them are already heavier than that. So, you never know what you're going to get with fishing. Random weird things happen all the time. This one's angry. <laughs> Come on, baby. In the net. That's a little small. There we go. This one's a little over 27 inches. 7.1 pounds. Another skinnier guy. There we go. Another hookup. Took a few minutes to retie my three-way slip sinker rig because, you know, even though if the the leader and whatever feels fine, sometimes uh, the line right around where the knot is tied abrades after you catch a bunch of fish on it, just because the the hooks move slipping around in the in the knot itself once in a while, and that becomes like a breaking point, and that's why you lose a fish sometimes. Especially with hard fights like with catfish, you know. It's a lot of tension. I'm just using 15 pound test mostly, at least at least on the leader. I don't know what line this is, probably 20, but um, pretty light line for this. I should be using like 30, I would guess. That's what I would want, I think, but I have 15 for now. So retying helps. He's around 24 and three quarters. Just a small guy. He 
just standing here all night with the rod held like this, casting it out into the tail waters so the bait kind of flutters around on that three-way slip sinker rig. Been using an egg sinker. I guess I never mentioned that yet. Probably should have, but I don't know. I don't know why. I used to hate egg sinkers. I thought it was really stupid the idea that you want your bait to roll around or whatever, or the, the sinker to roll around, but. These things, like, they're slipping a little bit, but they aren't snagging at all. And this is a really snaggy spot, so when I keep my rod high, these egg sinkers are doing a great job. I think in, like, three nights or four nights of doing this recently, I got, like, one snag in a whole night, you know, four times over. So that's pretty good, I think. Um, this guy's got a little weight to him. It's not very feisty. He feels a little bit heavy. Hard to tell though without seeing them. It's really rolling around a lot. Take it easy on them. <laughs> Catfishing. Oh man. Yeah, he's not a tiny one. Tell you that much. Oh. Using the current. I want to get a real big one, man. I want a 40. <laughs> I know some guys who got a 36 on a hot dog. I saw the picture of that one, and they weren't lying. A real fat 36, 25 pounder. And uh, another guy who got a, supposedly told me he got a 22 pounder, not too far away from here, on a marshmallow. <laughs> it's funny. And I know a bunch of guys who've been doing this for eight years straight using live sunfish. I've never gotten any over 10, 11 pounds. So it's kind of backwards logic around here, it seems like. That's another solid one. Awesome. Not terribly fat, but he's got a good head on him. Bigger cats are out to play tonight. I got a whole bunch last night, and the best one was 8 pounds. You know, got a lot less tonight, and already got three 10-pounders, roughly. This one's 10.5 pounds, um, 30 and 1 quarter inches. You know, this ain't the Red River, so 30 inches or 30 or better are probably a 1 in... 40 fish from my experience, one one in 50 maybe, something like that. Um, so this is a nice, solid, pretty big channel cat for this river. Um, big enough to get an angler award. <sighs> nice big head on her. I'll let her go here. You know, to get the award, you gotta. There's only a keeping award for these guys, so I never do it because, you know, to keep it, I'd most likely kill it. I just do the catch and release ones. And there she goes. They're still stacked up in here like when I started. It's crazy. So thick with catfish, man. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm a little bit give there. All right. It's crazy. So many. Another cat around average, 27 inches, 6.4 pounds, and they're still hitting really fast. Probably have the bait 10 to 30 seconds in the water on average before I get a hit. Once in a while it takes like two minutes, but that's not too often. But I'm running low on bait, so I'm not so sure how many more I'm going to get tonight. I might have to come back. We'll see. There we go. I ran out of chicken breast and chicken tenderloins, and those are usually really killer here at this pool, but um, I have four bags now, four Ziploc bags of really, really old and rotten bait, like stuff that I used before and then just rebagged and then refroze ten times and let it rot in the sun and crap like that. It smells really sour, awful. Um, the one I, I picked out, put on right now, is really old chicken gizzards. So, I guess something liked it. This place is just 
Holy cow. <laughs> Taking a little drag, eh? They all have like their own attitude. Like some of them fight really hard and some of them just stay down and heavy. And they're all kind of around the same size, you know, but they all fight a little different. This guy has a lot of attitude. <laughs> Oh man, this is so stacked with catfish, man. Getting a hit every minute, you know? Like a solid hit. I haven't lost a fish yet. I haven't lost a single hit yet. Every hit has been a hookup, you know? No fish have popped the hook at all. Been a good night. Not crazy numbers, but not bad size, you know? No trophies, but good solid catfish. A lot of attitude. <laughs> Doing circles on me. Getting the net. There we go. Awesome. Another nice channel cat. She's 28 and a quarter, 7.4 pounds.